constructing a four-fold geometric pattern in a rectangle. As I explained in my previous video, it is possible to construct four-fold geometric pattern in rectangles that have certain proportions. And I will illustrate that through the process of constructing this pattern. In order to construct this pattern, we need to draw a secondary rectangle first. To begin with, we need to start with a square. If you want to know the method of drawing the square, please go to the above link. By following the process explained in that video, you will end up with a square like this. The first thing we need to do is to draw lines connecting the opposite corners of the square. We also need to extend the two sides of the square in this manner. Then we draw an arc centered at one corner of the square, in this case the lower right corner, and with a radius equal to the diagonal of the square, starting from the opposite corner of the square until it intersects with the extended side of the square. Now we have two options. The first option is to draw exactly the same arc but centered at the other corner and by connecting the intersecting points of the arc we get a primary rectangle in other words we get a root 2 rectangle the second option is to draw an arc at the opposite corner equal to this distance i.e. the difference between the diagonal and the side length of the square again one connecting the two intersecting points of the arcs with the extended lines, the result is root 2 rectangle. Now to finish constructing the secondary rectangle, we need to add a square to the root 2 rectangle. We can do that by drawing two arcs centered at these two points and with radius equal to the side of the square. The last step in constructing the rectangle is to draw a line connecting the intersecting points of the arcs with the extended side of the square. As you can see, this rectangle is made of a combination of two squares and a small version of the secondary rectangle itself. Now we can start drawing the construction base for the pattern. We start by drawing lines connecting these two corners. Notice that this line divides this angle into two equal angles. Then we draw a line connecting these two points. And finally a line connecting these two points. Now we use the same radius of this arc to draw four arcs. The first arc is centered at this point, the second one centered at this point, the third arc is centered at this point, and finally the last arc centered at this point. The next step is to draw a circle centered at this point and with a radius equal to this distance. With the same radius of this circle, we draw two arcs. The first one centered at this corner, and the second arc centered at this corner. Now we draw further lines in order to finish the construction base of the pattern. Notice that all these circles will act as outer perimeter of the stars. It will also help in dividing the angles into 22.5 and 45 degrees. This is very essential in order to draw the stars correctly.
Now we can start drawing the pattern itself. As you can see, the circles are extracted from the difference between the diagonal of the square and the length of its side plays a vital role in constructing the rectangle and constructing the pattern itself. Finally, several people asked me to show how to reflect the quarter in order to get the full pattern. The process is easy. You simply mirror the steps along the vertical and horizontal axes. Start with the secondary rectangle reflected along the vertical edge of the first quarter. Then instead of starting the construction base at the lower right corner of the rectangle, we start at the lower left corner of the rectangle then all the steps are mirrored as well. Of course, you can draw both quarters together in one go. You can also draw the full pattern by drawing the secondary rectangle first and divide it into four equal rectangles. Then you simply mirror all the steps along the vertical and horizontal divided lines. In the next video, I will show how to draw five-fold pattern. And thank you for watching.